Welcome back to Boating Journey. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. In our last couple of episodes, we talked with Scott and Lori about what it's like to live aboard a boat full time. And that got us thinking, could we really do it? Although we don't currently have a boat, Allie and I decided to try out the next best thing. So we packed up the SUV and headed south. Join us on our journey to see if we can live together in 150 square feet of space. going to Olympia which is where we're headed it's about an hour south of Seattle that is when there's no traffic and so we've given ourselves almost two and a half hours to get down there and sure enough there was an accident here on the road and not only are they doing construction on the road and then you get an accident so we've given ourselves a good three hours that take us halfway across the state and we're just going south a little bit <laughs> We're down in Olympia and uh, we just had lunch at a great little spot called the Spar at McMinimins. And then we decided to come check out the Olympia Seafood Company, which is what we're going to get for dinner tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And we came down to the port, and this is a pretty cool port. It's a public port, port of Olympia. And behind me, we just climbed this little tower, great views. Um, it's got kind of a little walking trail, some cool things you can see behind me at Anthony's Home Port, which is a really nice restaurant which we, uh, I think we're gonna come back down here tomorrow night. Um, it was a commercial Saturday. commercial port. Um, no, tomorrow night, Saturday we're having clams okay. and mussels and staying in, because it's gonna be stormy. So we're looking forward to our stay here in Olympia. That was close. south of Seattle and as you can see we're on the water we're hoping to get a little bit of kayaking mm -hmm. in um, and what's the purpose of our trip 
that we're gonna do. We're here uh, for three nights. Three nights. We're just getting away, relaxing. Yep. And and kind of seeing what it would be like to live aboard a boat. Yeah. And on land. And the weather is not gonna be great, so check out where we are. Let's turn around. Tiny house. Tiny house. It's on wheels. It's, it's so on... small. <laughs> So we're gonna, we have, a, it's so beautiful here. It's the fall right now. And so it's gonna be great. It has a hot tub. We need that. We need that. Um, and, uh, but the weather is gonna be really pretty yucky come Saturday, possibly. We're gonna do some hiking. We'll take on a couple trails. Mm -hmm. uh, we found a great seafood place right at the port of um, uh, Olympia. I've been yep. wanting to call it Bellingham. Bellingham, which reason. would be way <laughs> up north. So come along. We're going to do two things. Let's see if you want a tour of it. Yeah, let's go take a tour. In this episode. And then tune in next week. And we'll take you along our journey of our trip down here in Olympia at the tiny home. Fighting a cat. <laughs> Stay out. Whoa. Is this place cool or yeah, what? Yeah, this is really cool. Wow. You can't smell it. If you had smell of vision, you'd smell all the wood. It just <laughs> it is fantastic. It smells great. They actually had, uh, they let us check in a little early. Um, we had the, they turned on the TV and they had some uh, ambient. Yeah, some mood music mood going, music. like a spa, kind of yeah. like a spa. Welcome. So let's check out what's closest to me first. Yep, let's get rid of the dirty stuff first, yep. I suppose. So this appears to be the bathroom. Yep. And it's actually a pretty good size. It actually reminds me of the uh, place we stayed in Snug Harbor. If you haven't seen that episode, we'll put yep. the link down below. And they've even given us some robes, yeah. some slippers. Wow, that is nice. I didn't even notice that earlier. Yeah, they give you Plenty towels. Plenty of towels. And everything you need. It's got a makeup washcloth, which is smart. So, very cool. It's got lots of storage. Yep. And she said that they have all the pots and pans. They've got a toaster. Sweet. Um, yeah, perfect. Very large refrigerator. And up here, you'd be thinking, why would you guys at our age want to stay in a tiny house climbing this ladder? And oh, heck no. No, no, no. Wow. You didn't tell me it had a ladder. It's got a ladder. However, that's where you put the kids. Yeah. And you don't have any kids. Yeah. We're going to show you where we're going to sleep. So moving into the galley. Full-size stove, microwave, again, all the utensils. Yep. This looks like this is like a cutting board almost. Yeah, um, butcher block countertop. Butcher block, nice deep sink. Yep. Look at these really cool sitting area. And, and look, look at this sweet basket they left. I know, and look at the view that you have when you're eating breakfast in the morning. Yeah, and there's another little table you'll notice. Oh, yeah, you can sit outside. Sit outside, we'll sit out there later. Uh, I think it'd be a little chilly for us it in the morning, though. Be. Uh, it does have a fire pit out there. I don't know that I would have a fire in it. It looks like it's starting to... Yeah, the bottom is starting to go out on it. So, But it's still a nice little set. Let's swap places okay. here. So it does have a nice little coffee maker. I brought co instant uh -huh. coffee just in case. Um, it has a candle, which I'm a little surprised about. I, I, yeah. Has, it has this little fake fireplace. Looks like an electric or or yeah. might might be propane, but it's probably electric. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Comfortable couch. Yeah. It has an ottoman, so that's cool. Yeah. Because you know me, I like my ottoman. I call dibs on the ottoman. We can share. We can share. And then check out where we'll be sleeping. So again, very nice. Very nice view. Um, it's a little bit like a catamaran because someone's going to have to climb over, obviously. i just thinking, I guess that'll probably be me. Because I go to the bathroom every night. Yeah. So. But super cozy, comfy. You'll notice, I don't know if you can see through the window here, um, they have this on both sides to give a little bit of privacy mm -hmm. uh, from your neighbors. Um, and that's pretty cool, too. So this is going to be a fun adventure. Um, and hope we don't kill each other after uh, three nights and four days. Oh, no, this will be this nice. Tiny home. Yeah, this so is really nice. We are really excited, and uh, thank you to Jessica for their hospitality. And we'll put the link in for down sure. below for this yeah. location. Yeah. It's so, an Airbnb. It's an Airbnb, and um, we're excited.
After quickly unpacking and settling in for the night, we enjoyed a wonderful toast on the deck, knowing that the rains would be coming soon. I don't know. Okay, so it's cold in here. Yeah. And you're wearing shorts, but there's a fireplace, so yeah. let's figure out how to turn it on. Oh, there's a switch right here. Oh, oh. Look at that. That's cool. That's a pretty fire we <clears> have <throat> there. Oh, and I think that's going to be heat because that's a 68 degrees. Yeah. That's cool. Way to go. Oh, I can change. Oh, look, I can change the oh. fire. We got like kind of a real fire, then kind of more blue green. Oh, I like the real. Oh. Oh, blue, oh, deep no, blue. No, I don't like that. And then that's, I guess, automatic, I'm guessing. So I like, I like the real one. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Now we're going to start making dinner. Now that we have the fire going, let's, we got to have some wine. Yeah, let's have some so white have little, wine before well, dinner. Yeah, we'll have some white wine with dinner, and then or before dinner, and then I think it's going to be a tough choice between the Italian or the Seuss Creek. I bought a Rosso de Montalcino, which is our favorite. Right. Well, and if you didn't know, we used to own a wine shop for. I already got one. I need one. Oh, I need one. Okay. Thank you. So we used to own a wine shop, and we opened a wine shop uh, in 2005 and five. because we fell in love with Enotecas in Italy, Montalcino. So this is a Rosso de Montalcino. It is a baby Brunello. And one of our favorites. What are we and having for dinner? So tonight we're gonna have pasta. It's cold. It's crisp, and we actually outside you mean not the pasta. No, but we actually need to use up our pantry. If you've not done that, that's a great boat thing. Go through your pantry, and just make dinner with what you got in there. So tonight we're having three different kinds of pasta. Two that are gluten free, made out of chickpeas, and one that's just made out of regular pasta and their shells. So it might not look the prettiest, but it'll taste great. Pasta's pasta. And I am kind of a stickler. Um, I decided I'm gonna make a baked pasta tonight and I never buy pasta sauce. I used to, and something about 10 years ago, I started to hate it. So I've always made mine from scratch. And one of my favorite brands is uh, Pimodori Paletti. And these, and I always use whole tomatoes, and then I mash them up, and I just realized we did not bring our tomato masher. I was just going to say, do we have a masher? Ugh, did not bring Maybe my they have a masher here. I doubt it. Well, we'll see. It's a cool thing that Scott bought me for my birthday. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I got for my birthday. And maybe a potato masher that we're looking for tonight. No, I think I'll just use this. This wooden spoon will work just fine. Okay. So you just stab them to death, and uh, I guarantee you you make your own pasta sauce it is far better it's thicker and it's not as sweet Join us next week as we get out of the tiny house and explore all that Olympia has to offer. Okay, we had a wonderful night watching TV. We were so relaxed in the hot tub. We both have our night guards in. 
<laughs> so we can't really speak very well. So we'll just see you in the morning. Night night. Night night. <laughs>